Welcome to episode 24 of Point Click Guide. This time we're going to talk about a new way to create Street View blue lines. Google are releasing a new kind of Street View creation with your phone. This is the machine I use to make it because I do bike paths and trails. Using the Pixel 3, I've already picked out a, a local place where there's no Street View. You can see along here and down this path there's no Street View. So that's where I'll be headed today. Um, it's all done through the phone now, so I'll show you that when we get down the path. Okay then, so to get ready you want to fully charge your phone, clean your lens, and pick a time when the light is muted such as when it's overcast. Avoiding twilight and night time, and face away from the sun if you can. This is pretty exciting because it'll allow easy citizen contributions to new blue lines on the maps. Selected phones that support AR Core 2 will be able to create street view imagery and blue lines on the map. You use a simple forward facing video mode, so there's no more need for an expensive 360 camera to make blue lines. That will still work, of course. The program is open to local guides level 6 and above. So, first up, determine if your phone supports AR Core 2. Consider a gimbal phone holder. A steady video and install the Street View app on your phone and allow it to see your location when you're using the app. Find places with no Street View in your community such as bike paths and walking trails and plan out your path. Starting out, you want to find places that need Street View where there are no blue lines now. Go to the start of the path physically, open the Street View app, you tap create, tap video, face the phone forwards at 90 degrees to the path you're traveling on tap record and start walking, riding or whatever. Be safe and try to avoid people. As you go along, you might see some warnings. You need to keep the phone facing straight ahead. The app is capturing video as you move along down the path and the app is showing your path in a little window on the map. Stay aware of your surroundings and be safe and tap stop when you're finished. And because you only face forwards, it can be good to go back the other way. So we're traveling down a bike path here, and I'm about to turn around and go back in the opposite direction. And the reason why this is good is because it helps people who are using Street View on the map to see what you saw, no matter which direction they're traveling on the path. So back we go now. I find it's helpful to record them both as separate sessions in case I need to re-record one of them, because perhaps some people turned up or something like that, or something got in your way. It's good to double up like this. It just makes life easier. As you go along, you might see some warnings or some prompts. In these examples, we can see one that says, keep the point camera pointed straight ahead and hold the camera level. When you resolve the problem that Maps is prompting you about, it turns green. So, once you've made your path, you want to publish it, and the app will put the unpublished video into your profile. You can see a couple of them here. The app only captures a forward 180 degree view, so optionally complete the 360 view by repeating recording in the opposite direction, retracing your steps back the way you came. Once you start publishing, you just select the one you want and tap publish. Publishing over mobile or cellular uses data and may incur costs, so consider using Wi-Fi instead. Street View will analyze and process your video, and this is usually quick. If it's accepted, a dotted blue line will appear on the map where your path is. And you can see one here running along this path. So this differentiates the old kind of Street View, which is 360, from the new kind, which is a lesser view. After some time, the video sequence will be processed and it'll appear on the map for others to see. So thanks to the Google Street View team for permission to produce this tutorial. I do not work for or represent Google in any way. The tutorial is my own work and is not published by Google. This has been another episode of Point Click Guide. So thanks for watching. 
consider subscribing and have a look at the other episodes in the playlist for all sorts of interesting photography techniques. Thank you.